Waka waka waka, what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Transformers review, official mainline Transformers review, and today we're going to be taking a look at yet another version of Optimus Prime, this time the Gamer Edition from the War for Cybertron video game, a game that I have seen and I have watched videos of and yet I've never played, but it does look very, very cool, and of course this figure does come to us from supporter of the channel and very good friend JJ, this is his figure, part of his haul that he uh, allowed me to take a look at so I'm definitely most grateful for that and very grateful for his support plus I get the chance to take a look and see what all uh, aspects of the franchise are brewing for figures and so we're going to take a quick look at the box since JJ has already unboxed this as well he should and of course we have a nice shot of gamer edition prime it's got some cuts some bruises he looks all dingy he looks hardened for battle I really do dig that got transformers war for cybertron up there generations Transformers, you got the little PlayStation logo right there, and then you got Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime for ages eight and up by Hasbro. And then, of course, you have more of that frontal shot on Optimus Prime, you got more dinge. I really love this shot. He's an authentic Transformers because you have to specify those things these days. And then, of course, you got another shot of Studio Series Gamer Edition Prime on the back. And then, of course, you have all the things this guy does. He's in the robot mode, he's in the vehicle mode, all in 22 steps. You got his matrix in there, his display, and they can pull and read his little description right there if you so desire and there we go for that and then we got some legal mumbo jumbo on the back and we got transformers war for cybertron on the top and lastly but not leastly we do have his instructions they got a shot of gamer prime right on there looking all badass and then of course you have it's a very short list of instructions all the things his accessories do and all that good stuff and they're just like other mainline instructions very pictorial and all that and that is pretty much it for his box and his instructions. So let's get a good look at Gamer Prime. And uh, I think this is a solid design. And I gotta say that uh, I, I did kind of urge JJ to get this one. Or I, kinda, I had a hand uh, in uh, seeing uh, if he would get it or not, just because I this is something I've been kind of wanting to take a look at. This design is incredibly intriguing. Uh, we'll look at the head, and he's got a little blue in there for his eyes. I love this head sculpt. It actually has the mask, the ears sitting nice and tall. He got like this little venting detail on his crest right there. Uh, mask, very nice though. And a bit more pointy than usual Optimus heads, but overall very cool. Um, again, moving on to the chest, you got some silver paint for the chest steel area. Overall, very clean. You got some venting detail on the sides, Autobot logos on the shoulders, either side, and tons of molded detail. Like a lot of these main lines, they're just loaded with molded detail. They may not have much paint, but the molded detail, they, they are just awesome. I love these honeycomb details right here in his pelvic area. I think they would have been even better done in clear plastic, but again, as they are, I think it's really, really cool. I've got his little ad right here as well kind of making a faux grill and then of course you got some molded detail on the leg and moving down you got silver right here on the shins a little exhaust parts hanging on. I think this is a cool design as well again just a really nice tape that kind of blends the uh, movie designs and the G1 designs and I really do dig it do dig it excuse me he's got some hollow spots right here on the thighs same thing with the back of the shoulders as well or the insides of the shoulders as well but that's kind of due for transformation um, the wheels are hanging back here. He's, the backs of his feet are kind of hollow. This is kind of where the figure does fall apart a bit. I mean, he got his wheels back here, but he kind of has a lot of open real estate. And this is kind of, you know, I know I say this is a main line. What do you want? But on the same token, I feel like, you know, just having a bottomless pit here in his back is just kind of, it, it's a bit unsightly. I'm not a fan of it. But overall, I mean, it, it is what it is. And you got a little front end of the truck hanging out in the back here. Um, I'm not sure if this is accurate to the game or not, but I feel like something more could have been done back here moving on to his articulation his head is on a ball it rotates very smoothly it can look up quite a ways he can look basically straight on uh you can move his arms all the way out to the side just like that you can rotate them all the way around as well he does have a thigh swivel uh, excuse me a, a bicep swivel excuse me and uh, he can get you about 90 at the elbow his wrists do rotate as well move him out to the side and you do get a nice waist rotation moves really smoothly all his joints move really smooth he can get you a massive fusion kick with the legs he can get you a uh nothing back unfortunately and he can get you all the way out to the side of the side fusion kick so two out of three fusion kicks he gets you a nice thigh movement on this little peg right here 
uh, gets you 90 at the knee or just shy of 90, but still more than you need. And of course, you can get the uh, little ankle tilt as well. He goes a little bit, he goes basically straight on, then he can get a little bit of toe tilt as well. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. And we'll move on to his accessories. And he does come with a few of those. So firstly, he does come with his uh, cannon. And you can see there's no handle on this. This is done in uh, mostly black plastic. By the way, you got some molded detail right in here. You got some waffles on the bottom. But again, it's a main line, so what do you want? And uh, so how does this mount? Well, this is interesting. So uh, what you do is you can uh, take off his hand. That's right. His hand does come off. And uh, you can just, you got this little port right on back here and you're just gonna plug it in uh just like this and that's right they're kind of bridging that gap of the uh movies uh, as well with kind of having the fist guns and uh yeah so it kind of mounts to his arm like that and i do kind of think that's cool i kind of like the rifle arm aesthetic so you might be asking what do we do with the hand uh so you have this peg right on back here and i'm not kidding uh it just pegs right into this port right there on his butt so I guess he could scratch his own butt but then when you look at him from the front eh, <laughs> I think we'll just put this back in the box when we have the gun mounted and of course he does come with his battle axe I'm so happy so many Optimus Primes are including this again it does look it's mostly done in gray plastic got some uh, kind of peach done at the edges looks like just kind of spray painted on there and then he got some uh, mold the detail on the inside there it looks really cool i do like how that looks and then you could take this off and you're just gonna plug it right through the hand right there and you could either have the short axe going on or you can just plug this in and continue giving him his long axe and of course uh one thing that this also does is uh it will open up just like this, you can give, have like the dual blade thing going, which I think looks absolutely badass. Again, totally cool. And as far as storage for these goes, um, I'm not sure. I think you just put them back in the box. Uh, the instructions don't say anything about robot mode. The only place to store the gun in vehicle mode is already covered up, as we'll get to later. Um, so no place to store them on here. And then, of course, uh, what would every optimist be if he didn't have his matrix of leadership? That's right, the chest opens up to reveal a ton of... Oh, molded detail. Whole oh, crap, I got some wires. That looks so cool. And then, of course, you have the matrix. You can take the matrix out. It just pegs right in, right in there. And it does look very cool. All done in a very nice gold paint with a nice baby blue. That is just beautiful. Mwah, chef's kiss. So that just looks totally cool right there. And, of course, last but not least, since he is a Studio Series figure, you do get his display base. And, again, I've never played the game. I'm not sure what location this is, but you can let me know in the comments. And and you could put him right there and he can kind of, you know, it's just a little thing they include. I think it'd be kind of cumbersome for a shelf. But hey, if it's your thing, it is your thing. And that's pretty much it for his accessories. And we'll do a couple quick comparisons before we get them all transferred up. So let's get them in there with our typical, uh, my only mainline figure, Mr. SS86 Hot Rod. And since we still have them, we'll bring in Mr. SS uh, Concept Sunstreaker. And again, uh, as far as the Cybertronian motif, I think this really works, especially if we go with uh, the uh, kind of the movie verse and the game verse. I think this aesthetic works very well. It kind of has that G1 faithful-ish kind of scheme. And then of course, it has that more stylized movie aesthetic so overall i think they work very well i kind of like how he's a little bit taller than both of them and then of course let's get these guys out of here and since we still have them we'll bring in of course movie concept megatron and i mean you know well two from two different universes but again uh, as far as stylized goes i think that the aesthetic is uh perfect uh, for both of them i think they could easily fit into one another's universe uh so overall and there we have it for our comparisons and it is that time to get Gamer Optimus transforming up into his alt mode. And overall, as our most mainline transformations, this is pretty fun and intuitive. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to start his legs real quick and just get one step out of there. We're going to tab them both together. And they have a couple tabs right here. And then you have a tab in back that sometimes doesn't like to go in. There it is. And there we go. Next up, what we want to do is we want to take these uh, shoulder pieces. We're just going to look at his butt for now. We're going to open them up just like this on these little armatures right here. And you can bring out the back and it's on a double hinge so you can kind of combine the whole thing at the hinge right here and then it's on this uh there's sound like kind of a mushroom peg you can spin this around just like this and leave it back just like that next what you want to do is you're going to spin the arm the uh front pieces all the way out just like this 
You can kind of pull the arms out to the side if you so desire. Make sure they're all the way out. And then what we want to do is you're going to pull the, uh, basically the torso piece all back. It's going to kind of go on a hinge right in here. This is kind of, kind of rock back and uh, lock into place just like that. Then what we could do is we can bring down the whole front cab. We're going to bring it over the little arches right here uh, on either side. Then you have a tab right here and then a tab right up here and you can just kind of push them back in and they will tab in that's basically the front of the truck done we can move on and go back to the legs real quick and so what we could do is we could rotate the arms out like this same thing with the other side just kind of rotate them out like this and then what we can do is we can rotate the entire waist up like this you can kind of bring up the waist just at the little uh thigh pieces right here bring them up just like that and then what we can do is we can untab the little side pieces just bring those down we're just getting them out of the way for now we can untab the pieces on his shins it's going to form his roof line later and then we can kind of bring up the feet to fill in the gap that those just made and those fit in pretty perfectly and then what we can do is we can rotate the uh, wheels out and and just kind of lock them in they're just on kind of a hinge so they just kind of swing over and out to the side just like that next up what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arms on this hinge right here they're going to come back and you can see you got a tab you got a slot and you're just going to kind of bring them back and you're going to tab them together and then what you have is you have a tab right here on the wrist same thing with the other side and you're just going to bring down this whole back end of the truck and that is gonna tab into two slots to kind of to see the right in there that's just gonna kind of tab in and then what we could do is we can bring this piece down right here you know so you got a slot on this side slot on this side and you're gonna close this piece and you got a tab uh, you got the little slot right here and you're just gonna bring this oh 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 before we do that bring up the little exhaust parts make sure those are extended out fully and you can bring those in just like that make sure that you got them tabbed in in both areas on the side same thing for the other side Ooh, make sure those exhaust ports are up they will get in the way and like magic there we have optimus gamer edition in his very cool cybertronian mode so let's get a good look at his vehicle mode and uh you know i'm gonna come clean uh, as far as cybertronian modes go i like this um we see so much of the space whatever and oh look it could be anything it's a spacecraft or it's a tank and uh you know all of optimus's uh cybertronian alt modes that i've seen and granted i haven't read too much of the comics or anything but all the ones i've seen always follow the form of a box or like a cab over style truck and this one just doesn't it it, it too, truly does its own kind of thing optimus Miss Prime truly looks alien in this. It's like this hot rod Cybertronian tractor truck. I love it. I think it looks hot. Um, you got the, again, the silver paint on the front here with the molded detail. I'm not sure if the windows are here or up here. Um, you got the grill, of course. Molded. It's got the little cross areas. It looks good as well. Everything else done in red plastic. I love the wheel arches coming over the big beefy front tires. Tires and wheels are really well done as well. Again, you got like kind of Cybertronian tread um, on there. And then the wheels are done in a nice silver the center caps even have like a cool little design we which is so cool we so often see the center caps neglected on main lines and they got a nice little red around the hub same thing for the rear wheels we will roll by the way like a champ um again red plastic moving all the way i love the smooth profile moves all the way to the back you can see his kind of feet hanging out back i love how the exhaust ports come out i kind of wish they left the hole in the though just so you get a nice smoke effect i think that would be hot hopefully a uh, effect company will make something like that. I don't care if you have to drill them out. Um, and then, of course, uh, his hands are hanging out back. It is a bit unsightly, but as I always say, it's a main line. What do you want? And if you turn him over, uh, mostly, aside for the arms hanging out back, everything is hidden away pretty well. You see his mainframe, and this kind of gives off the inner workings of the truck vibe for me, so I can totally get on board with that. But overall, again, really cool little alternate mode for Optimus Prime, and I just really like how this turns out, especially with this figure. Uh, as far as weapon storage goes, uh, the gun... I don't have a problem with so that has these two tabs on here you got two slots right in the feet and you're just going to kind of plug those in just like that and I think this could work especially for a Cybertronian alt mode um it's the axe that I have my issue so the axe you 
plug in right on here. You're just gonna kind of use the clip of the gun and you're just gonna plug that in. And that is like, yeah, that feels like a stretch for me, but it is storage if you absolutely have to have it. Granted, it does look ridiculous, even more ridiculous than most weapon storages in alt mode, but there we go for that. And we'll do a couple quick comparisons before we move on to our summary. We will get them in there with, of course, our last review, Mr. Concept, Sunstreaker, and our eternal comparison for mainline SS86 Hot Rod, the only mainline I own. Uh, I think this works, especially with uh, movie Sunstreaker. Again, I think uh, he fits the vibe. I think he fits the size vibe as well. He looks bigger than both of them. He looks just the right size. So again, I think that looks really good. And we will get him in with one final comparison since we still have him in our presence with movie concept Megatron. And uh, that just looks hot. I think uh, size-wise especially, I think both these guys match. So like a, uh, they are like a match made in heaven. I quite like it. I think it works very well. I think the aesthetic works. So uh, overall, you know, Optimus Prime is that smooth kind of vibe and Megatron does, has that hard and hard edges, all that kind of stuff. So again, um, I think these two work quite well together, despite being uh, studio series from two completely different visions of the franchise. So let's summarize on Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition Optimus Prime and yet another variation of a character from a part of the franchise that I really don't know too much about. Uh, but overall, I think the action figure is uh, really cool, albeit a bit of a mixed bag. Um, he's got all the standard articulation for most modern figures, all that you'll ever need for sure. Uh, the accessories, he's a bit light on them, but he comes with just what he needs. I think the Matrix and the Matrix Chamber is an absolutely beautiful touch especially with as much paint as it has. Um, I'm not a big fan of the bottomless pit in the back. I also think the storage for the hand is kind of moot point, especially because since you can't store the rest of the weapons in robot mode anyway. So, so again, I wish you they just sort of said, yeah, I put everything back in the box because they did that with all the guns. Um, and of course, vehicle mode is absolutely awesome uh, in both design and uh, the execution and uh, the transformation to get there is fun and intuitive as it is with most mainline figures. Uh, so Overall, uh, I think this guy has a lot more positives than he does negatives, and I definitely do recommend him, especially you can find him in stores, or of course, you can also check out Big Bad Toy Store. I'll put a link to them in the description just in case, if he is in stock. Of course, I'll look at Chosen Prime and Toy Dojo to see if he's in stock there as well, and put the link to wherever they are. And that is going to conclude this review, so I want to give a huge thanks to JJ yet again for letting me look at part of his collection. And if you found this review fun and informative, let me know by hitting that like button down below. I greatly appreciate it. And if you are not yet subscribed, I urge you to consider subscribing to my channel. I do do Transformers reviews regularly, weekly, double weekly sometimes. And uh, again, both mainline, third party, mostly Masterpiece, but with JJ at my at my side, uh, I am pretty much looking at just about everything these days. And that is going to be about it. I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.